Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to the Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone without remote ID? So let's get into it. By now, you've probably heard about remote ID, but you might be wondering, can you fly your drone without remote ID? So let's take a look at the details. First, we'll start with the basics. According to the FAA's website, drones which are required to be registered or have been registered, including those flown for recreation, business, or public safety, must comply with the rule on remote ID. Part 89, Remote ID of Unmanned Aircraft. Part 89.105 states that unless otherwise authorized by the administrator or as provided in 89.120 after September 16th, 2023, no person may operate an unmanned aircraft within the airspace of the United States unless the operation meets the requirements of 89.110, standard remote ID, or 89.115 alternative remote ID. Standard remote ID means that the drone has remote ID capability built into the drone. Alternative remote ID means that it doesn't and that you need some sort of broadcast module. Either your drone or your broadcast module must be listed on the FAA's Declaration of Compliance website as accepted of meeting the rule. Next, the website and 89.101 state that drones that must be registered must comply with the rule. So which drones must be registered? The FAA website states that all drones must be registered, except for those that weigh less than 0.55 pounds or less than 250 grams and are only going to be flown for recreational purposes. To simplify that, all drones must be registered per part 107.13. If your flight qualifies under the exception for limited recreational operations of unmanned aircraft or USC 44809 and the drone is less than 250 grams, then you don't need to have remote ID because you don't need to register. Now, 89.105 says after September 16th, 2023, no person may operate a drone in the United States airspace without remote ID this has not changed. That is the rule. However, on September 15th, 2023, the FAA issued an enforcement policy which states that any non-compliance with this rule that occurs before March 16th, 2024, the FAA will consider all circumstances. In particular, any unanticipated issues with availability of remote ID broadcast modules and excessive costs will be considered. Basically, this means that if you have a good reason not to comply with the rule, then the FAA has the latitude to not enforce the rule until March 16th. The reprieve ends though on March 16th, 2024. So can you fly your drone without remote ID? Yes, you can if you have a good reason prior to March 16th, or if you qualify 100% for the exception for limited recreational operations of unmanned aircraft under USC 44809, and you're flying a drone that weighs less than 250 grams. Then you don't have to register your drone, and therefore you're not required to have remote ID. You also have the option of flying at an FAA recognized identification area or a FRIA if there's one close by you. There are a list of approved FRIAs on the FAA website. Pro tip for this week is time is running out, so you need to figure out what you're going to do to comply with remote ID or figure out if you're just going to operate as a recreational flight with a drone that's less than 250 grams or fly at a FRIA. The FAA can issue fines of up to $32,666 for violating federal aviation regulations. That's probably something you don't want. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can address that in a future video. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach channel 
so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying and we'll see you next time.